So welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, we are going to write a small Python program and we are going to use uh, Botfather API and we are going to see whether we are able to read the data or not. So whenever we are making HTTP calls, we are going to use uh, a library which is called requests. So in order to import any library on Python, we can just write import and the name of the package. So in this case, I'm going to write import and requests. Uh, that's all. Now we have imported package and now we are going to make a get call. So we are going to write a requests dot get and then we need to specify the URL under this parenthesis. And also we need to make sure that this URL is uh, in double quotes. So that's all. Now this is going to give us exactly the same output which we have received when we used HTTP get using this method. Okay, when we just copy pasted all this API on the browser and then we hit enter we got all this data. So this is exactly the same data we should be able to get by running this. Now we are getting the data, but we are not saving this data anywhere. So I'm going to create a variable which is called risk response. So I'm going to call it risk for short. And then uh, we are going to read it or going to print it by saying print resp response dot text. That's it. Now uh, click on this play icon. It should be able to read this data and it should be able to display it here. Uh, now you can see here on the screen when we I executed this program, this is the output which I have received. So here again in this output, you can see we have three lines of messages. So first line is all about the first uh, method or first actually command which I wrote, which was slash high. And then second piece of text which we written was hello world and the third one which we wrote was good morning. Now notice one thing, uh, all the data which you see here is again in JSON format. So if I copy and paste everything here, so for example, I'm just going to copy everything and I'm going to paste everything here on JSON viewer. So I'm going to remove it, I'm going to paste it again. So you see the message is exactly the same and then if I click on tree viewer, we are going to see everything as we saw previously. So this is the use of, you know, or this is the power of Python with very uh, few lines of code, you are able to do a lot of things. So for example, here you can see just with three lines of code, we were able to call a get uh, HTTP API and we are able to see the data. So that's all in this lesson. See you again in the next lesson.